I think there will be opportunities today for Atlanta to take advantage, but we'll see. Here goes Araujo, lovely flick back for Aiden McFadden inside the area. Delivers his cross, falls kindly for Wiley. Snapshot from the youngster. Bright start for the home team. Ring. Alex Ring has scored in that goal before. I'm sure you remember it well, Jeff. 2018 for NYCFC. Here's Felipe. Cross deliver. Back for Felipe. Goal! Austin FC pouncing early in the ninth minute. It's the Brazilian Felipe from close range. It's an unexpected goal scorer, Felipe, putting him in the lineup today, but he's just not picked up from midfield. Ball put out wide to Ethan Finley. He's been doing this for years in Major League Soccer, serving balls in the box. And it's a really well-controlled header. Felipe Martins just directing it to the back post. No chance for Rios Novo, but runners from midfield. We saw it early last week against NYCFC, not getting picked up by Atlanta United midfielders. Not sure. Josh Wolf would have waved that one away. I'd say he would have fancied the free kick. Here's Fagundes. Good delivery from Diego. Fagundes chance it's a goal. Sloppy defending from Atlanta United. And Austin FC have a two-goal lead. Ethan Finley on the doorstep. And it's just Fagundes out wide. You can see Austin trying to isolate the outside backs of Atlanta United and the ball comes to Caleb Wiley, and that's just a mistake. It's a left-footed player trying to clear the ball with his right foot. Just completely misses, leaves it on a doorstep. Ethan Finley to tuck it away. That's going to be one of the easiest goals he's going to score in his career. But see Austin FC just switching the ball left to right, isolating Ethan Finley, isolating, isolating Diego Fagundes. Araujo. Bodies offering. Ronaldo Cisneros drags his shot wide. Felipe doing what Felipe does. Off the ball behind the play. A lot of work here for Jair Marufo to sort out. That's a yellow card then for the Brazilian, Luis Araujo. He's got Wiley on the overlap. Decent delivery inside. This one, the referee says, is a goal kick. Fagundes. Danny Hosa. Lima. Chips it. Great ball. Oh, it's a really good goal. Excellent delivery. But the offside flag goes up against Felipe. This one will not count. When you've covered the space in the channel, to then come inside. George Campbell caught a bit high. Alan Franco caught in between both. Fluffs his lines from close range and Atlanta go up the other end. Here's Luis Araujo. Space for the Brazilian. Araujo delivers. Keeps it in play brilliantly. Martinez is there. Straight at Stuver. They have to operate on different sides of the field to make it more dangerous. Team defending on the other side of the ball. Get everyone back. Get into shape. Especially in the wide areas. Make sure the wingers are tracking back so they're not dragging midfielders out to deal with those overloads. When we're in the attacking end of the field, I want Moreno to tuck in, and that means Caleb Wiley overlaps. I would keep my eye on Caleb Wiley as well, getting involved in the attack as Moreno tucks inside. I think what Drews has done so well is everything. It's a bit of everything. He runs, he tackles, he presses. He can be the guy in the box. Oh, chance here. Maxi Aruti off the woodwork. Put home, though, from close range. And there he is. Triussi with his 11th goal this season. Leads Major League Soccer. It's a transition moment. You wonder how Rudy gets so wide open in behind the defense of Atlanta United. It comes off the crossbar. Triussi makes this look a lot easier than it is. But he is wide open in the box and taps it into an open goal. But it's Ethan Finley again streaking down the right-hand side. Doing what he's done for years, he did it for Columbus. Almada, onto his left foot. Still there, perhaps, for Alan Franco, the big centre back. Lost one. Chance! Big time save. Brad Stuber equal to it. And that is a massive save. Alan Franco gets pushed a bit wide, but he just hangs it up there, asking for someone to go get it. Marcelino Moreno turns. Alex Ring tries to get goal side. 
tries to strip Marcelino Moreno of possession. Out wide now, Luis Araujo, one on one. Here's the Brazilian, Araujo! Marcelino Moreno delivers. Joseph Martinez gets there first. Stuver has been tested more in the last minute than he had in the entire game, Jeff. Yeah, absolutely. And he played he played that card against NYC and it worked out leaving Mateus Rosetto on his own. Here's Gallagher. Whips it. George Campbell just about getting there. Chance is still there for Austin. Rocco Rios Novo doing just about enough. Araujo. Almada. Oh, rides the challenges brilliantly. Almada! A rasping effort from the 21-year-old, not too far away. And it's good footwork. We're not going to see it there in the replay, but the shot just goes wide. You can tell from Brad Stewart's reaction. He has no chance of stopping this one. It's a laser to the right-hand side, but just wide of goal. Here's the footwork. Felipe Andrews, he can't. Lima, beautiful delivery inside, off the post. Already has himself a goal here in the second half since entering. And like I said, it's a little pockets of space in front of the back line. And now a problem for Atlanta United. You see George Campbell stepping out, trying to close down the ball. Real Snowball can deal with that cross. Feeds Osetu. He's being part of the team structure and defending better. Creating that team defensive structure to, to make it stronger. You see the chance there, Stuber comes and collects it. I know they're down 3 0, I know it's late in the game, but you see the ball turn over and heads go down. Is there a consolation goal? The answer is no. An emphatic victory for Austin FC on their travels. They've won their last four matches on the road in Major League Soccer.